Uh, hello and uh, welcome from the carb shop. I'm Ed Dorada. I'm the sales manager here at Minimania and also do all the carburetor rebuilds. So in today's session we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how to identify your SU carburetor. We're going to uh, pretty much focus on the SU and the inline mini sprites, Morris miners a little bit just so that uh, when you uh, have a car and uh, a carburetor underneath the hood here, you'll kind of know what to look for to get a proper kit or to get a replacement carburetor. Uh, just a quick crash course on uh, SUs. Um, the easiest way, of course, to identify one is if you have the identification tags, which are on the carburetors, and uh, usually they will be, on the, in this case of HI-44, usually up on the dash pot, or on an HS4, one of these will actually be on the side bowl usually. Uh, the earlier ones are the small triangular shaped ones, usually have like an AUD number. Uh, the bigger later ones, usually an FZX number. Uh, if you give me a call in with that number, we can look on our application guide and sometimes tell you what it fits on the model and the make. Uh, or you can actually put that number in Google and a lot of times it'll come up and tell you what it fits. So that's one way, the best way to do it. Um, and don't be fooled about what comes in a Mini because if you go by the application guide, you have an HS2, which is a very small inch and a quarter carburetor. Uh, you'll find that also fits an 850. You'll find them on 998s. And the other way around, you'll actually find an HS2 on a 998 also. And uh, HS4, which is the inch and a half, uh, that's also going to be on, found on an 850, which is kind of hard to believe. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of carburetion. So uh, our, uh, I'll give you a quick crash course on uh, <clears throat> the size of SUs. Uh, they go by the early ones, HS2, HS4, and HS6. Uh, the two would be an inch and a quarter. The four is an inch and a half. The six is an inch and three quarters. Uh, the later styles, and they use the HIF, they actually convert it to a metric size, uh, which would be HIF 38, which would be the bore size here, which determines your CFM rating. HIF 44, inch and three quarter, not a diameter size. So, we'll go ahead and get right back into it. So when you pop your hood, you're probably going to see something that looks kind of like this. You can have a carburetor with a dash pot sticking up in a lid. You pop off the air cleaner like that. And by golly, they all look pretty much the same. Uh, this one has uh, the elbow on it. We'll put it this way and this way. So how do you tell? The easiest way to tell is by the angle right here where the air cleaner horn comes down. The larger one, the HAF44, is going to be kind of square. The 38, you'll notice, is a rounder air cleaner lip. That fits right here at the air dome. So that's the easiest way to tell. Other than that, the dash pot's always the same. The throttle linkage is the same, everything is about the same, but the actual air cleaner is a little different here, just because it's square and it's rounded. That's the best way how to tell on that. Now some of these carburetors, they've been converted, so that uh, <clears throat> you'll find this carburetor, HF44, on a four bolt flange manifold. Sometimes you'll find it on a two bolt flange manifold, which will still fit or one that's one piece. You can do that too. That will still fit. You can put either one, a 44 or a 38 on it. And I'll grab a HS4. And it works vice versa. You can actually put an HS4, inch and a half carburetor, on the four studded 44 or 38 manifold. Or it'll go on this one. Two bolt or diagonal two bolt. Either way. Now we make kits for uh, conversions also. Uh, we have an MMKT 0400, which would be an HIF 44. It'll come with the intake manifold, the uh, proper spacing, abutment bracket, cables, uh, the air cleaner, so everything you can do to convert it over from HS4 uh, if you want to do that. Um, I think that's about all we have to cover on this model of the 44s and 38s. 
Uh, also on the uh, carburation here, what the uh, HS and the HIF, the difference uh, being the two, the HS series has a sideball float on it, which has the fuel line coming over to the jet tube. Uh, the HIF series has an internal float that's all built inside here. Much superior carburetor, uh, internal components, also has rubber seals on the throttle shaft so they don't leak air like these are susceptible to do. Okay, uh, next section here is going to be the HS4 carburetors. Uh, came in two varieties. Due to the earlier style, earlier style I had a uh, jet tube that's either red or black. They will come. Using the kit as red. Let's see that. Or the black. Same size. They're both 90 thousandths uh, jet tube diameter. So either one will work, so that'll be fine. Uh, now, to identify it on the car, when you look at it here, which one it is, between an HS4 and a smaller HS2, which I know what the red one is. Obviously, the dome size is different of the damper because HS4 is larger, but the main thing you look for is the screws. This one has two mounting screws on the top, HS4 has three mounting screws. So that'll kind of eliminate it right there, HS4, HS2. The other thing you want to look for is the early and late style. The early style, like I said, had the uh, uh, red fixed uh, jet tube st standard in it. And usually the, the needles inside are a fixed needle as opposed to a swing needle, which is a spring mounted one. The later ones on the minis, which is about 70s and later, use what they call a wax stat. This is the uh, uh, English is poor version of a uh, emission control device. What happens is a wax pallet, a wax pellet inside of the uh, wax stat here that raises and lowers the jet tube as the temperature raises and lowers. So it controls the fuel mixture. Uh, very easy to tell. Uh, the wax stat is a big old silver thing on the bottom. So when you call uh, and you say, which kit do I need or which carburetor do I need? The main thing to look for is on the bottom. You're going to have a red or black jet tube assembly or a wax stack and that'll be the brand new wax stack that comes you can buy it separate or you can buy it in the kit uh, now there's a couple of different conversions that i like to do i take the later model wax stat uh, style and i convert it to the earlier style which a lot of people like because it's a little more consistent it doesn't float up and down and give you variances like these do so with this kit here uh, this one's got an arm on it which actually goes through um, this part of the uh, jet tube down here, uh, well this one right here actually, and we'll fix up to the linkage here. The other one actually has a, I shall like better, yeah, this one right over here, they have this little bracket, I'll just take it all out here, that you put on with a screw right through there, and that will support the little ball and arm that comes off the wax stat. So you're going to replace this whole thing, but you're going to use the same arm and coupling that you use on this linkage here. Very clever. That's a LZX 1111A. So you can convert that over from a wax stat style. And it's actually a little cheaper too. Uh, I think that's all we need to do on covering the how to identify on the HS4 versions. And of course, once again, you'll see a combination of manifolds out there. You could have a four bolt, you could have a four bolt with just two studs, you could have a diagonal and uh, one piece manifold with exhaust attached, or it could be a separate with a separate exhaust uh, header on there, or you could have headers on it. So any combination will probably work as long as you get the bolt pattern the same. Okay, uh, so here we are back again. Uh, this time we're going to cover the HS2 singles and dual carburetors here. Uh, basically how to identify those and the difference between the singles and duals. Um, on the HS2, the inch and a quarter, you'll notice that the mounting flange for the manifold is straight up and down, as opposed to the HS4s, which are diagonal. That's the one thing. And of course, we talked about the screws. Only two screws as opposed to the three mounting screws that come on those. Uh, also, the uh, <clears throat> you notice the float bowl on a single is on the opposite side on HS2. So looking from the back, these will all be on the left side. HS4, they're all on the right side. 
Okay. Uh, now, as far as the duels for the uh, minis and the inline sprites, or Morse miners, uh, the main difference you have on these things to look for is the thickness of the spacer plates. You notice here it's a thinner setup than it is on the sprite. The sprite uses like a big old fat one inch spacer on theirs in the back. Uh, the other minor differences are the linkages. The mini uses a narrower linkage in between as opposed to a wider one on the sprites. And also, uh, the float bowls, uh, they're mounted, usually in most cases, with these rubber grommets that go inside the float bowls here. And they're notch different to 20 degrees or 30 degrees. The minis actually use the 30 degree, because you want to get the angle of the bowl when it's mounted on the engine, so it's pretty much level. It's only 10 degrees, it's not going to matter a whole lot much on that, but you kind of like to have that right where the Sprite sits at a little different angle, so they sit at 20 degrees. Um, other than that, about, uh, they're really about the same. You can interchange, you can use this carburetor on that and that carburetor on here. So it's just a matter of linkage and spacers. Um, I think that pretty much covers it. Um, of course, here's an old antique one here. Uh, you see, <laughs> it comes with a, looks like it's a one piece. That's actually the two piece manifold. It's got a bolt on it. Uh, it has a, actually this is a really early style. This is an H carburetor here. You can tell by the bolt. It's got the single bolt on it. And the cobwebs that go in there. <laughs> so it can be rebuilt, but we don't like to. You can actually convert this style over, the H style, to a more modern uh, HS2 style. Uh, everything else is about the same. The linkage would be a little different, but it can be, it can be converted over. So I think that's about it for uh, the carb shop. Uh, hopefully that'll help you identify your SU carburetors from HS38, 44, the HS4s, HS2s, the singles and the duals. Uh, if you have any questions, you always give us a call at the toll free number 800-946-2642. Uh, give me a call anytime, I can help you out. And you can look on the website for any carburetor kits that you need or if you need a replacement carburetors, we try to keep them all in stock. Uh, thank you for your time. Until the next time in our next session, uh, so long.